Ober Amagao is a small community in a southern Bavarian valley with some 5,000 residents. Strange things have been happening here for centuries. Every 10 years, men's hair and beards sprout unchecked in a sure sign that the passion play is about to be staged. Local people perform a dramatization of the last days of Jesus of Nazareth in this open air theater. There is also a play about how the tradition of staging the Passion Play came about. In 1633, this isolated community was living in fear of the plague. The locals pleaded with God to spare them. In this scene, the locals pledge to perform the Passion Play if God saves them from the devastating illness. So werden wir alle das Leiden und Sterben Jesu spielen zu seinem Gedächtnis. Das wollen wir geloben. Wir geloben es. Wir geloben es. It was a situation where the plague had wiped out entire communities. Then there was this dramatic plea to God, please spare our lives, let us survive. And then a miracle really did seem to happen. It's thought no one died of the plague after that prayer. Whether the bacteria or viruses which caused the disease died out, or God really did intervene, it seemed a great miracle to those people at that time. Chronicler of the Passion Plays, Otto Huber, is at the local cemetery. The first performance in 1634 took place on the graves of the plague victims. The plays were staged right next to the church well into the 19th century. The oldest surviving manuscript of the play dates back to 1662. The text has long since changed. The scenery and dramatization have also developed. But the core of the story has remained the same over the centuries. The Passion Play shows the last five days in the life of Jesus. The triumphal entry into Jerusalem from the 1960 production. The Last Supper with the Twelve Apostles. Nehmet ihn und teilet ihn unter euch. Jesus swears to the apostles that he will drink no more wine until he drinks it in the kingdom of God. And finally, the crucifixion. This scene is from 2000. And after the death of Jesus, the resurrection. The passion play and theater as such is a beautiful thing. I think the people really enjoy creating the scenery, the beautiful costumes, and giving others pleasure through the play and telling a tale. And it attracts the tourists. Despite the difficulties involved in getting here back then, some 100,000 people already made the trip at the end of the 19th century. People heard about it from travel guides and magazines. One British tour operator booked an entire hotel in 1880. And the whole community prepares itself for the passion plays. The rule is, no more haircuts or shaving. It's even regulated by a local bylaw. Only people who were born in Oberammergau or have lived there for at least 20 years are allowed to take part in the play. Oberammergau's identity comes from the Passion Play. First, it's nice when you can receive guests in your home, from South Africa, from India, or wherever. And secondly, it adds to the quality of life if you spend nine years as a fitter, and in the tenth, you can be Judas Iscariot or a high priest of the temple, and people tell you how good you are. The play was last staged in 2000. Otto Huber works on the text with director Christian Stückel. The result is the biggest change for 150 years with entirely new costumes and sets. And Stückel is using considerably younger actors than in the past. The role of Jesus has been given more weight and new facets. 
ich bin eigentlich immer angetreten zu sagen, wir müssen I was always of the opinion that we have to continue developing the passion play. We have to carry it into a new generation, to our generation. That's an important point. Otherwise, the tradition would be lost. But if you define tradition as holding on to something that's set in stone, then you're wrong. Rehearsals for the 2010 performances. Christian Stückel has made changes this time too, so that the tradition of the passion plays remains alive for the future.